Today I'm going to be making something super yummy and this is my devil's food cake. Here are the ingredients that we need. One and a half cups of cake and pastry flour. One and a half cups of granulated sugar. Two eggs. A half a cup of vegetable oil. A half a cup of coffee. A half a cup of milk. A half a cup of Dutch processed cocoa powder. Two teaspoons of baking soda. A half a teaspoon of baking powder. One teaspoon of vanilla. And a half a teaspoon of salt. So those are the ingredients. So let's get started. For our first step, I'm going to sift all of my dry ingredients together. So that's the flour. The cocoa powder. Baking soda. And baking powder. And a little bit of salt. We'll just get that in there. Okay, that's good. We'll start with our wet. So I've got my two eggs in here. Grab my mixer, start mixing those together. I'm going to add in all of the oil and then all of my sugar. And I just want to get all of this really well combined. I'll get my vanilla in there as well. And then a little bit of my coffee, just to loosen this up. And then we'll start pouring in some of our dry ingredients. About half. We'll just slowly incorporate that. Okay, once that's combined, we'll add a little bit more coffee. And then the rest of my dry. Then I'll get all of my milk in. And the last bit of our coffee. Once you think that is nicely mixed, then we are ready to fill our cake tins. So I have two cake tins here. These are Wilton pans and they are nine inches in diameter. So I'm just gonna make this really easy. And we're just gonna fill these up halfway. And I have greased and floured each one of my pans. Okay, that's good. So I've got my oven set to 350 degrees Fahrenheit. I'm gonna pop these in and do them for about 25 minutes or so. All right, there's my first cake. And then my second cake. And I did these for a total of 25 minutes in my 350 degree oven. So these are extremely hot right now. I'm going to let them cool down. Then I'm going to unmold them and I'll come back and show you the final product. So my cakes have completely cooled now and I'm just going to get them onto my turntable. And this little thing that I'm using here is a Wilton little cake mover. And this thing is amazing. I use this all the time. You can see how large this is compared to the cake. So it grabs your whole cake in one shot. So I've got some really nice vanilla buttercream icing here. And I'll link to that at the end of this video if you wish to see it. I'll put a link in the description box. And then we'll go on with our second layer coating, our upper coating. That looks good. And for an optional last step, I'm just going to grate some chocolate right onto the top. Perfect. So there we have it. My devil's food cake with vanilla buttercream icing. The only thing left to do is to cut into it and grab a slice. Oh, this smells so good. Look at that. Hopefully the camera can pick that up. Oh, that looks so good. Super, super dark. Really, really nice. Let me zoom in. So there we have it. My devil's food cake. You can see how nice this is. Really, really moist really really dark mm. so I hope you try out this cake this is a really really good cake I can't say that enough I hope you enjoyed this video and I'll see you next time oh that is so good
and please subscribe to my Bake Like a Pro YouTube channel and also click that notification bell to be alerted every time I upload a brand new video.